Okay, Sam, what is a long-running AI agent? A long-running AI agent is an autonomous, stateful software process that can persist for hours or days, maintaining memory and checkpoints. It can plan and execute multi-step goals, call external tools and APIs, monitor progress, recover from failures, and keep working without constant user prompts. At least that's what ChatGPT told me. <laughs> okay, so what you heard in that intro, that was made with Sora 2, by the way. Pretty fun tool, if you ask me. Uh, today I want to take a quick look at what I call long-running AI agents. So the way I want to define this is uh, a long-running AI agent is an autonomous stateful software process that can persist for hours or days. Oh, okay, we're not going to do days. Maintaining memory checkpoints so it can plan, execute multi-step goals, call external tools, that could be MCP servers that we're going to use today, APIs, monitor progress, recover from failures, keep working with constant user prompts or without constant user prompts. So we should kind of give it like a goal and it should work towards that goal. We're going to introduce something else that I call time tasks. I will show you that. Uh, but we are going to use Claude Code today uh, and I built some MCP servers to help us do research and help us execute uh, the task we want to do while staying inside this uh, time task window that is going to keep the agent running over a longer time actually to do a, yeah, to try to do a task and execute some goals we have set. So let's start over here in the terminal. Let's go to Claude, right? Uh, you can see we are in the long agent directory here, as you can see on top here. And for this directory, I have built some MCP tools. So the tools we have, these are my global tools, Gemini and GitHub. You can just ignore those, but we have a Grok server. Uh, the tools here is that we can search x.com. We can look for handles. We can look for popular post. That is some tools we have or... Um, we have the Reddit server that can kind of do the same on Reddit, do research, find posts, search for posts, right? That is on Reddit. And I have a tool here called uh, Reddit, uh, no, research display. This is going to create like a live up uh, real time web page that we can compile all the research and we can update this in real time. You'll kind of see how it works when we start this now. So uh, we also have some other tools. These are kind of the built in tools. If we go to where can we see those? And two, three. So these are the tools like web search, fetch and everything. So I don't need an MCP server to do a web search. Uh, so what we want to do now, uh, you can see here is that uh, in my Claude MD file, uh, I have something called important. If you are on a time based task, Always adhere to the time spent on a task. Also, don't ever stop working before the time is up. Okay, this is a bit important. This is the way I like to do uh, long-running tasks. You get, there's, there's a bunch of way to do it, but this is a very simple way if you just want to get started. So let's look at my starting prompt now. So here it is. So you can see your next task is time-based. The agent should do five minutes of research using MCP servers and tools and make live updates and improvements on the web page on the topic Sora 2 is it's over now. I was supposed to do is it over now. Okay, so like this, uh, write an in-depth article, max three paragraphs, bullet points. Goal is to find a Sora 2 video to embed. Keep updating and refining. Don't just add content. Use uh, update and refine the existing we have. Adding relevant images and video that involves the topic if applicable. The time frame for a job, like I said, five minutes. Keep count of this time in a background task and hard stop for research after five minutes. So here we kind of have the time based task. I only want agents this time to work for five minutes. We're going to run do a second run where I do 10 minutes and we're going to check out the differences. So I'm just going to start this now and you can see what's going to happen now is I think the first thing is to start the timer. It should be we can just look at use like a background bash task here. Yeah, we have yeah, we have a sleep 300. So I'm just going to accept that and you can see down here one background task running. So this is counting now to 5 minutes. 300 seconds is 5 minutes. And here you can see we are already starting the tool call. So we are doing web search, we are searching for open AI video generation. So what I can do now is I can open up my local host 3000 to check out the live server. 
So you can see there's no content here. Okay, so here we got the content, right? So it did a quick update here on the web page. Let me just adjust this a bit. So you can see Sora 2, is it over now? <laughs> and this made some updates. I guess it's kind of behind my head now, you, but you can see we have done some updates here now. Uh, yeah, in the real time. So you can see we are still using Grok here. We are going to X looking for information. We are doing some Reddit searches. So I'm just gonna let this run now. I'm gonna record this so you can see the changes in real time and I'll come back when the five minutes uh, has uh, completed here. Okay, so you can see uh, the bash output now. Time is up, so five minutes have passed. Yes, this worked perfectly. So now we can adhere to that. Five minute research complete and we stopped. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see. And we have some key findings here. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't embed an actual Sora 2 video. Okay, uh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at the results here. So you can see we have the title, not even close. Sora 2 just launched and it's already defining AI video, released 30th of this September. We're calling it the chat GPT 3 moment for video. Okay, so yeah, uh, this looks to be uh, legit information. Uh, but it's not very good, we didn't get any images and stuff, but that was not the point. The point was just to test this out and see how it works. Uh, now we can use our tool to just clear this because we're going to do a 10 minute run, clear content. This should trigger the MCP tool to actually remove this content, right? Because we are running this in real time. Yep, there we go. So now we're just going to do, I think we're just going to clear this, right? And we're going to send off the same prompt. Uh, but this time it's gonna be 10 minutes. So we just do the same prompt, but we change the timing here. So I'm gonna do, yeah, I updated everything to 10 minutes. And yeah, let's just run it again and see if there's any difference running this task for five minutes uh, or 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, sleep 600, perfect. Background task is running. Yeah, so again, I'm just gonna let this run and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see the 10 minutes research task was completed. If you scroll up here, you can see the bash output was uh, 10 minutes has elapsed, time is up. And again, it adhered to that instruction and it just stopped the research. So that is perfect. That means that we can try to scale this even more. We could set 30 minute research task, right? and just keep blowing on here. And we can just change this setup to other stuff. We can do coding, maybe some time task on working on a code, writing tests, and expanding uh, on features. Uh, yeah, you can see, basically, uh, we did pretty much the same, but we just spent longer time. So if you look at the output, uh, I guess it was pretty good. For me, this was a bit too expensive. We added an image, so that was a nice touch. But uh, this was too much information, if you ask me. We didn't really ask for that. Uh, but this is just adjustments we can do in the prompting, right? Uh, the main core idea of today was to see if we could keep the task running for the set time we set, right? And maybe for a future video, we can do like a coding task that is gonna be like 30 minutes long, just to see how that works. Uh, because if we take a look at kind of the statement from Open, uh, from Anthropic, they said that uh, Claude 4.5 is a state of the art on the SWE bench verified. Uh, practically speaking, we observed it maintaining focus for more than 30 hours on complex multi-step tasks. Uh, I think you will need a good framework for that, but maybe it's possible. I'm not sure how exactly they did this, uh, but we did 10 minutes. This is 30 hours. That's a a whole different ball game of uh, running this long running agent task but um, yeah like I said I hope this was interesting and I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can start learning playing around with uh, setting this long running agent task and maybe you can do it time based as I did or you can do it goal based there's a lot of ways to choose here uh, but all in all a very interesting thing and it's just gonna get more and more of this uh, implemented into your workflow uh, at least that's what I think. And you might as well just start playing around with it now so you have some idea uh, what people talk about when they say long-running AI agents. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great weekend and we speak soon.